another gorgeous day, but yes. we could be winding down because rain could be coming. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we are going to see the temperatures falling on Sunday. It's still going to be pretty warm tomorrow. Yeah, like that. Uh, pretty warm tomorrow mm -hmm. and pretty warm on Saturday. We'll start to see those 70s back in the forecast Sunday and into next week. Uh, Sunday is also when we have our best chance of some widespread showers and more of a drenching rain. We have the potential of some showers tonight as well, uh, but that might not be significantly significant enough to really break uh, that drought that we have. We really need to see a few drenching rains to get us out of this drought like condition that we've been seeing. Haven't seen much rain at all for the month of September and we really could use it less than a tenth of an inch for most of the area so far this month. It was a beautiful day though. We had plenty of sunshine. Those clouds moved in this afternoon. That's ahead of that system that will bring us some showers and possibly a few isolated thunderstorms overnight tonight. Several locations into the 90s today. Over in Indiana, we hit 94 degrees. Blue Island at 93 and Kankakee at 93 as well. O'Hare Airport hit 89, so just about to 90. Normally we're right around 74 this time of year, so we were significantly warmer and we were not alone with that. Look at this all across the Midwest and down into Texas. We've seen those temperatures today anywhere between about 10 and 15, even up to 20 degrees warmer than average. So a real warm air mass in place right now. That's going to continue to shift to the east as we head over the next couple days here, but we'll continue to feel the impacts of that at least through Saturday. Uh, current temperatures right now, upper 60s and low 70s. 77 at O'Hare, 75 in Bartlett, 69 in Aurora, 73 at the lakefront. Lakefront areas have seen those temperatures just a bit cooler today thanks to that lake breeze that developed early this afternoon. But overall, it is going to be a warmer and more mild evening than what we saw last night. Those temperatures right now, anywhere between about 3 to 10 degrees warmer than we were at this time last night. And that's partially thanks to to a little bit of cloud coverage across the area. That's really preventing us from cooling down too much with our overnight temperatures. Those clouds coming from this weather system that's just off to our west right now, having a major impact across Wisconsin. That's where they are seeing some of those showers and a few thunderstorms with this system. We're expecting those showers to reach into our area, likely after about 2 to 3 a.m. So here's a look at the timing on that uh, with our forecast models. By midnight, we'll start to see some of that creeping into our western counties. That will continue to sweep across our area and by about three, uh, 2 to 3 a.m. I should say that should reach our northwest suburbs and continue to move towards the city. We'll see remnants from that system through the early morning hours, possibly a few spotty showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm early Friday morning, and then we quickly clear out, dry out, and we'll see those temperatures back into the upper 80s with plenty of sunshine. Not expecting anything severe as that system moves through. All the strongest storm activity is going to be well off to our west and into the north tonight. Non severe thunderstorms expected across our northwest counties and into the Cook County area. Uh, looking at the potential for some accumulation tonight when it comes to rain, uh, I think this is being a little bit aggressive with, with what we'll see, uh, but could see maybe up to a tenth to a quarter inch on the high side. I think we'll be closer to a tenth of an inch uh, for this overnight rain. A better chance of seeing some of that drenching rain as we head into late Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and we really do need that drought monitor uh, updated today, and we are in a moderate drought now. Most of Northeast Illinois and Northwest Indiana, we've only received four one hundredths of an inch of rainfall at O'Hare for the month of September, and typically we are over two inches by now, only a trace amount at Midway. So it has been a very dry streak, uh, and we are going to hopefully break that a little bit as we head over the next few days here. So we have those chances of showers tonight. Again, not expecting significant rain from that, and then we dry out again on Saturday, and really most of the day on Friday will be dry. That 30% is for the morning hours. By Saturday night and into Sunday and Monday, that's when we have a system that does look like it has a lot more moisture associated with it, which could bring us a better chance of some significant rainfall. Uh, that's about the time that we do see those temperatures drop off as well. So temperatures tomorrow and into Saturday staying in the mid and upper 80s, so anywhere between about 10 to 15 degrees above normal. And then on Sunday, we start to see those temperatures drop into the upper 70s, mid 70s by Tuesday. By then, though, those mid 
mid 70s are still above normal. So we're going to continue a fairly warm streak for this time of year. Winds right now out of the southwest, fairly calm, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Earlier today, we did see that a lake breeze develop, which temperatures dropped off along the lakefront because of that. Now we're all seeing those southerly winds in place, and that's helping bring in a little bit more moisture and that warmth. So dew points have climbed a couple degrees today into the mid and upper 50s, even low 60s. Uh, that's not uncomfortable yet, but we are expecting a bit of mugginess tomorrow. We'll see those dew points into the low to mid 60s for our Friday. And then on Sunday, you'll definitely notice more humid conditions as that next air mass moves into place. That's expecting to bring us a little bit more significant rainfall. Tomorrow we'll see cloud coverage in the morning, but we'll quickly clear to sunshine and we'll see clear skies by the evening. Tonight, increasing clouds. We'll see those scattered showers and an isolated thunderstorm or two possible after midnight. It does look like it's going to be closer to about 2 or 3 a.m. And then tomorrow we're into the upper 80s again. We'll see some morning showers and possibly a thunderstorm that will quickly clear, though. That's going to be really early in the morning and we'll see mostly sunny skies by the afternoon with that mugginess in the forecast. Temperatures on Saturday, mid 80s, partly sunny and continuing that summer like feel. It's going to be really a great day uh, to get outside and enjoy the beach or just spend some time at any festivals going on. We'll continue to see those temperatures fall off a little bit as we head into Sunday. That's also the first official day of fall. Still going to be warm for this time of year, though. That's also when we have our best chance of seeing some significant rainfall in the uh, current forecast. Looking ahead, chances of showers continue on Monday and then we dry out Tuesday, Wednesday and into Thursday. Thursday is when we really see some bright sunshine back in the forecast, but a little bit of a roller coaster with our temperatures over the next few days here. Okay, yeah. thank you, Alyssa. Mm -hmm.